Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have created Update Employer REST API in Spring Boot project. In this video, let's head over to the React application and let's create Update Employee component and let's design Update Employee form. And in next video, we'll make a REST API call to, to store updated employee form data into the database. Update employee page looks similar to add employee page. So it's good idea to reuse the existing component to perform both add and edit employee operations. For example, in previous video we have created a create employee component to add a new employee to the employee list, right? And update employee page also looks same as add employee page. So what we can do is we can reuse this component to perform both add and update employee operations. So there are basically two approaches. Either we can use a same component to perform add and update employee operations or we can create a separate update uh, you know react component to perform update employee operation. Yes, this is a common requirement. So I'm going to show you both the approach. First, for in a first approach, we'll create a separate update employee component to implement update employee functionality, and then uh, once we complete this update employee functionality, then I'm going to show you the second approach that is reusing the same component to perform both add and update employee functionality. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and let's create a new React component called update employee component for that go to the components folder within the components folder let's create a file called update employee component dot jsx all right within this file let's use a react snippet to create a react class component i'm going to use rcc react snippet command to create react class component here we go so once we create update employee component then what we will do we will configure a route for this component so let's head over to app.js file and here let's go ahead and let's copy this route and paste and just change the route path here that is update in case of update we need to get a id right so for that look at here how it looks the route lo looks like this so this id should be dynamically get changed so we have to give a syntax to update a route like this all right the corresponding component is update employee component so whenever we hit the url something like this uh, localhost colon 3000 and then update employee slash one so whenever we hit the url like this then this component will get called and this id we retrieve like this okay so this colon id so this is the syntax to get the id here so this is kind of a path variable so this id should be dynamically get changed okay got it once we configure a route for update employee component let's go ahead and let's add update button to the list employee component okay so look at here this is the employees list page right and here at actions column you can see we haven't added update and delete buttons yet so let's go ahead and let's add update button to the actions column let's go back to VS Code ID and go to the list employee component and this is the actions header header column and go to the table body and here we have to add update employee button let's go ahead and let's add it it's button and a button element let's add on click attribute 
and then within a curly braces let's add a event handler let's add a row function so whenever we want to pass id then make sure that we have to use arrow function and just call this dot let us say edit employee the handler method name and then here we're going to pass the employee dot id all right after that let's add some css to the button like this is the bootstrap css then and then let's add a name to the button like update and save it and let's go back to the browser and let us see how it looks yeah here we go it looks good right now once we click on update button you should navigate to the update employee component all right it means that whenever we click on update button so this will this should navigate to the update employee page let's go ahead and let's add on click event handler to navigate to the update employee page let's go back to the vs code id let's copy the method name and here below constructor just create a method define the method edit employee we should also be able to need to bind this method to the component let's go to the constructor and let's bind this method to the component using bind method and just pass this keyword all right so this method should have the method argument id so because we are passing id here all right after that so once we click on update button so this should navigate to the update employee page right and we also need to pass this id so we have already configured a route for this so look at here so we need to pass id to the route how to do it let me show you uh, go to the list employee component again and here just type this dot we are going to use history object again this dot props dot history and then push and here so look at here the symbol so this is the back stick I am going to use so you should make sure that you have added back stick here and then slash update employee slash dollar and then id all right so this is the syntax to pass id to the path that is the url all right got it so here this is the push method okay let's change it and this is the syntax to call update employee page so whenever user hit update button the user should be able to navigate to the update employee page and we should have to pass this id dynamically to you know update employee page so this is the syntax for the same now let's head over to update employee component so update employee page should looks like add employee page so let's go to the create employee component and let's copy all the code okay so that's why i have already mentioned like we can reuse this same component to add employee and update employee to keep it simple i'm going to use a separate component for updating an employee so let's copy this entire code up to this and go to the update employee component and let's go ahead and let's replace this code okay great 
the code is almost same as we have already uh, you know understood in previous video while creating uh, you know add employee form in create employee component all right guys now what we'll do we'll make a rest api call to get a employee for updation so we just call employee by id rest api and we pass id employee id to the rest api and this rest api returns a employee object and that employee object we will populate in a form and uh, inside a form we can able to update the employee and once we hit save button then we can able to call the rest api and we pass all the employee updated data to the rest api and rest api internally store a form data in a database so here we need to make some changes so in order to understand this code please visit my previous video i have already explained this code step by step we have already you know uh, developed this code line by line now let's make some changes over here so instead of save employee let's go ahead and let's rename this from save employee to update employee okay and let's also refactor the code go to the constructor within the constructor we have here we have bind the uh, event handler to the component right so let's change from save employee to update employee all right now what we'll do we'll call component did mount method and we'll make a rest api call so before that let's go to the employee service .js file and here we need to create a method which will call our rest api let's create a method get employee by id and just pass employee id so this is the http get method so let's call agios dot get method and just then pass base url and then pass employee id now it's pretty simple right so this will return a employee now let's go back to the update employee component and here after the constructor we call component did mount method and inside this method we're gonna call service method okay employee service dot get employee by id and one more important thing is we have to get id right we have to get id from the route so for that he let's declare id here we can get id from the props okay so look at here the props dot match dot params dot id so by using this approach we can get id from the route and this id we are going to pass over here this dot state dot id all right then this method returns a promise so let's get let's call then method and inside then method we get a response and let arrow and inside then method let's add let's get a, a, a you know data from the response so this is a employee and let's say response dot data so let's get a data into a separate object now what we'll do we'll set a data to the state by using set state method and we have post name attribute let's get a data from the employee employee dot first name and then we have property last name okay what we have done we have retrieved a response from the uh, method and uh, we just set that response data to the state by using set state method 
now form should populate it with first name last name and email id so let's go ahead and let's change update employee method so whenever user update the employee form and hit save button then update employee method will get called and inside update, update employee method we capture the update employee form data and let's delete this and once we got uh, updated employee form data we just simply log to the console using console.log and in the next video we will make a update employee rest api call and we will send this updated employee form data to the rest you know rest api and rest api internally we will store this data into a database let's save all the files let's go back to the browser and let's see how this functionality works all right guys so look at here update button is uh, there in a list employee list page so let's go ahead and let's click on update button yeah here we, here we go so we also need to update this text right let's update this text go to the vs code id and let's change from add employee to update employee and save it and let's go back to the browser yeah here we go all right we have successfully made a rest api call to get a employee object by id and we have populated that employee object in a form now user can able to update the employee let's go ahead and let's update i'm going to update post name from tom to john and last name from cruz to cena and also email id from tom at the red gmail.com to cena at the red gmail.com and clear the console and just hit save button and yeah look at here we got updated employee from data here all right we have successfully updated the employee and in next video we make a rest api call and we send this updated employee data through the rest api and internally rest api will throw you know put this data into a database all right guys i will see you in the next video